What is your first response when the power goes out? If you are dependent on technology as much as most of the first world is today, your first answer would probably be, I would just start looking at my phone. But what if that option was off the table? We are now dependent on electricity more than ever, and it is a part of our daily lives in almost every little detail. The light in our house, the elevators we ride, the food we cook wouldn't be possible without power. Even the vehicles we use are expected to be replaced by their electric counterparts. All of these make you think, what would happen if we didn't have electricity for a long time? This is Imagine That, and today we are going to imagine what would happen if all electricity went out. Before we start getting into the topic, we need to set some ground rules. How a global blackout would play out would depend on what caused the blackout in the first place. Did all the power stations stop working due to a natural disaster all of a sudden? In this scenario, we are going to assume that an EMP-like weapon went off on Earth and took out all power and electric devices. Let's say such an event happened, and a weapon the likes of which we have never seen before went off on Earth. What would be the first effects? Electromagnetic pulse attack, which would literally destroy the country's capacity to function. If the power crisis in Venezuela in 2019 has taught us anything, it is that the modern world is not prepared for long-term power outages. It is the most recent example that we can use as a frame of reference to speculate on how such an event would affect us. As it turns out, some members of our society depend on electricity in less superficial ways than we do, because the first people to get affected by the power outage were the patients in hospitals. In a potential global blackout, people who are on life support in hospitals would likely be the first casualties. People on ventilators and ECMO machines wouldn't survive such an event for long. Some of them can be kept alive using rubber lungs, but this wouldn't be a permanent solution as you would need several people taking turns pumping air into the lungs of the patient for a long time. Beyond hospitals, the whole world would slowly realize how much we need electricity. The first couple of minutes would likely be fine. We would just think this is a local power outage, the result of a maintenance effort by the government. But when we noticed that our smartphones also stopped functioning, we would come to grips with the fact that this is no regular power outage. The lack of internet and other communications methods would mean we wouldn't even realize this is a global problem. The subways would stop functioning properly, and people inside would have to walk to the nearest stop without any lights. Without traffic lights, jams and chaos would start to sweep the urban streets in a matter of hours. Populations in most cities would rush to their homes for further news that might never come. Maybe the ugliest part of human nature is the fact that in times of crisis, we want individual security by any means necessary. That means stores in every neighborhood would soon come under looting. In a matter of days, the local law enforcement establishments would be stretched thin in cities full of looting, rioting, and no communication. This lack of coordination in the police forces would result in different gangs ruling their own districts, fighting over whatever limited resources we have left. Lack of electricity would also mean the stop of water distribution. So, soon after the power outage, we would turn into a much thirstier and dirtier society. People would rush to the nearest body of fresh water and try to stock up. The delicate balance of logistics and supply lines would collapse, and soon we would start running out of food, especially in urban areas. We are only talking about an outage for a couple of weeks. There is no way of knowing what the long-term effects would be. When we go beyond months, years even, the picture becomes even more unclear, as we don't have enough evidence to speculate on it. But we are going to go on and say it probably wouldn't be too pleasant. There's no doubt humanity would survive without electricity, because we used to, and we still do. Maybe the most interesting thing when you speculate on such an event is the fact that some people wouldn't even notice it. Right now, there are more than 100 uncontacted tribes in different parts of the globe that don't rely on electricity to go on about their day-to-day -day lives and would be virtually unaffected by the event, which we would consider a silver lining.